Minnesotans, we know you love the Northern Lights, so good news on this Monday. We have an, an Aurora alert for tonight. A strong geomagnetic storm could produce Northern Lights across several Northern states, and that includes Minnesota and Wisconsin. So we asked our fellow Next Weather Meteorologist Lisa Meadows to help us unpack this headline so you can plan ahead for your evening. Lisa, what can you tell us about the conditions tonight? Well, here's what we're looking at, Mike. Now, when it comes to the forecast, it's looking pretty good as we head into tonight. I do want to at least mention, though, the forecast for space weather versus how you forecast for the weather a little bit closer to home, obviously, is a bit different. If the forecast for the solar wind, which pushes those particles that interact with the near the atmosphere and the earth, if that is off by about one to two percent, then that means you could have a one to two our difference in when we see the peak of the lights. It's just that touchy with the forecast. So keep that in mind. What I like to do in situations like tonight, while I'm up, go outside, take a look, and then, you know what, kind of hang out, be patient with the forecast. But tonight is one of the days to definitely do so. Here's the forecast. The southernmost point of the viewing goes down to Iowa. Obviously, for the north, the better off you're going to be. But we're seeing that aurora potential really get into the northern half of the state of Minnesota. When it comes to how they basically have the scale with this, it's the K index. It's from zero to nine, and the forecast for tonight comes in at a seven, which is strong for tomorrow night. It's coming in at a five, which is minor. So here are a couple of tips, things to think about if you are going to be checking out the Aurora. First of all, of course, you want to get away from the city lights. It's called light pollution. It makes it harder to see. So get away from the city. Put the city lights behind you. Look north. Heads up, sunset tonight, 842, sunrise 557. And that K index goes up after midnight going into the morning. It actually kind of peaks after sunrise tomorrow morning. But still, just if you're thinking, eh, maybe I'll either go to bed early, get up right before we start to see the sunrise, that might be the best shot. Another thing which I found out on my own the last time we had a nice light show is the cameras actually have a better job of showing you what it looks like versus say just your eye and that's because the camera lens can actually show you this. It's got a better eye than your actual eye itself, your human eye. So I noticed this, it was May 11th was the mm -hmm. last time we had like the big show and everything. And I was out, I was looking, it was my first time ever seeing it. And then got out the cell phone to take uh, pictures, videos. And I was like, oh, okay, like it doesn't look as vivid here, but when you put the phone up and you look through that lens, it looks a lot more vivid. And then uh, talked to a photographer who said, yeah, it's just, it's got a better eye than me. <laughs> oh my, that's so interesting because yes. that same experience, it was May 11th and I, you know, went out to Victoria, uh, tried to find the least light pollution yeah, mm -hmm. and it was pretty, but then when I saw the pictures, I was like, it didn't look like this. Right. Right. What? Everyone's posting on social media, I'm right. like, was I in the wrong spot? Right. <laughs> no, I was there. I just didn't have my camera settings correct. Maybe, but the other thing I noticed, that it was my first time seeing them quite that vividly in May as well, is how quickly conditions change. Yeah. So. Mm. Towards sunset that time, that that evening, it was looking great, but the sun still wasn't fully down. A few minutes after sunset, still good, but then within 10 minutes, they sort of went away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the forecasting is not as accurate as weather forecasting, but also there's a little luck involved too. Yeah, yeah. gotta be smart about it. That's why we're here. And you might want to chase the lights, but you don't know maybe where to go. Explore Minnesota actually has some good options. You have the obvious choices. We're talking the Boundary Waters, Cook County, and Lake Superior. There's Voyagers National Park, all places that are big, dark and void of city life. But it's likely you don't want to drive that far, especially on a, maybe a weeknight. Closer to the Twin Cities, we have Afton State Park, William O'Brien State Park, Silverwood Park, just a few miles from downtown. So there are some good options under an hour's drive from the Metro. You just need to escape that light pollution if possible. Honorable mentions made by Explore Minnesota, Stillwater, Mankato, St. Cloud, maybe obviously not in the heart of mm -hmm. those cities, but if you yeah. get probably 15 minutes out, you have a good shot. Yeah.